Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Cheyenne, Wyoming Hyperspace Trials Day 2 Top 8. My name is Asa Graff for the Back to Dials X-Wing Podcast, and joining me today is guest commentator Ken Cho. Ken, welcome to the stream. Thanks for having me. So, uh, great day last night. How'd you do? Uh, I ended up 3-3. Three and 3-3. Three. So, three and three. Yeah, I was in the position to try and make the cut going into round 5, 3-1, and one, uh, and then I lost the next two. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, no shame in that. Yeah. It, uh, it it happens to the best. There was a tough field last it was. night. Uh, my my round five loss was to the guy who's currently on the table, Liam Lee. So mm -hmm. uh, I guess that kind of gives me some insight to commentate on today's match. Well, perfect. Well, let's talk about these because these are two of those top, two of the top of that tough field. Sean Sapone over there on the left, all the way down from Billings, Montana, with a three first order ace list, and of course. Local Colorado and Liam Lee, young man with uh, some what he calls untouchable rebels. Um, I wouldn't say they're untouchable, but it's a deceiving list. So you look at the list, it's three pilots, and there's really not any upgrades on them. Right. You're obviously going to have Leah because it's a rebel list. You have the ion cannon turreted on Nora. But other than that, you know, there's no force talent on Luke. There's, there's no ordinance, anything like that. So it's really deceiving because you think because – there's not much there, but really the way Liam plays the list and the natural abilities of these pilots, he plays it really well. He plays it a bit cagey because he, he knows you're going to think it's going to be an easy walk, and it really isn't. Gotcha. So, so, how, so how does it get its, its, its claim of untouchability then? Uh, well, obviously you have Han with his re-rolls. Uh, you'll see Liam will generally always take target locks with Han. Right. Um, that big base ship with the boost – that again, it's also deceiving. You think you can get distance between you and Lee and Han, and really he's right there, range two, two re rolls and and a target lock. Right. You, it's hard to avoid three to four hits there. So right. um, Nora is kind of the bait. I think people think it's a Y wing. You're going to go in and blast it off the ship early. If you do that, if you commit to it, that's when Luke and Han really just pounce in. Gotcha. Yeah, it's it's uh it's definitely a very powerful list right there. With R two D two on there, giving Han just that little extra measure of survivability, allowing him to tank just so much damage. Now, yep. who do you think brought the uh, gas clouds here? Uh, that definitely is Liam, I believe. Um, I think when I faced him because I brought two debris, one uh, one rock. Gotcha. And but we had th yeah, so it, it has to be Liam. Um. So a really good choice for Han right there because he can sit right on top of yep. those. Still, basically no detriment. That's um, right. That's right. And still and and still be still be offensive, still be defensive. Right. In all I, of his bonuses. I actually think, out of all my opponents, Liam was the only one that brought the gas clouds. Now that I think about it, everyone yeah. else brought one of the original debris or rocks. Gotcha. Uh, okay, yeah, so they're, they're getting set up right here. Sean's list. Now, let's talk a little bit about that. There's not a whole ton of upgrades on those First Order Aces either, but they are very potent. They are. Um, I'm, I'm glad to see uh, three Aces First Order list in the cut. Um, you know, you've got Kylo with heightened perception, which I think will allow him to bump up to seven during engagement phase. you got Null, who's also at seven until he takes damage. And then you have the quintessential quick draw, um, yeah. fanatical pattern analyzer, special forces gunner, and FCS. That's how good is fanatical ended up being, man. Uh, it's it seems to almost be the staple card. I mean, everyone yeah. used to put the shield upgrade to get the the most benefit out of the, the his quick draws ability, but uh, you know, once those shields were gone, you really had nothing after that. But, right. So fanatical adds another layer on top of that. So I think that's almost a staple card for quick draw. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's a very, very good upgrade. So, based on list matchups, then, is there an advantage here? Um, I'm probably going to say, you know, everyone's been saying Rebel Beef, what have you. I think Liam has the advantage. It's really tough to chew through that YT-1300 hull with all the stuff that Han has, plus the synergy that it gets with Nora and Luke. Um, I do think Liam has a bit of the advantage here. It is definitely worth mentioning that I believe they played this matchup yesterday, and Liam did in fact come out on top. Oh, okay. It was it was a tough a tough fought match apparently, but we are seeing a rematch. In fact, there are a lot of rematches in this top eight. There certainly are. There yep. certainly are. D and Carson, who closed our stream off last night, are currently uh, playing away right now on the uh, on on fifth and sixth seed. 
Uh, Kieran Simsky, I believe, is rematching one of his opponents as well. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> there's a there's a lot of good players, and that has resulted in a lot of rematches. Uh, yeah. So we have some stuff from the from the chat there. Uh, love the Lego miniature says Chilling Guy eighty five. Yeah, I believe that is a Grand Admiral Thrawn. It is Thrawn. Mini. I asked him about that when we played because I have not read any extended universe stuff whatsoever. I'm just a movie guy. That's what I know. Yeah, the source material. <laughs> so he, he told me that's. There's a very famous uh, chapter or sequence in one of the Thrawn books that involves Luke, uh, and that's why he has it. On gotcha. The show. It's cute. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, me too. Uh, so we're just waiting for time to get started right here. Uh, Ken Johnson, our esteemed leader, is right now, I think, kicking off the Redemption Tournament um, for those... Poor souls that did not make the cut <laughs> <laughs> last night. Just yeah, a, a and fun, hats, a fun hyperspace tournament where we can take out all of our new Republicans. Yeah, and big hats off to Ken Johnson for running this. Absolutely. This was super smooth. You know, typically six rounds for a hyperspace trial. You're going into 10 o'clock, what have you. He really kept things on time, even with a lunch break. And we, I think we finished up at 8.30. It kind of felt weird to walk out, and it was right. not 10 o'clock. So hats off to him and the 307th for hosting this in Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of guys from Denver here, but as well as other parts of the country. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, we had people coming all the way from yep. from California, California, from Montana, right? That's right. So lots and uh, lots and lots of states represented here. Uh, I know we have viewers from all over the world. So uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And thank you to the uh, Historic Plains Hotel for allowing us to run this event here and uh, for giving us this back room to broadcast from. Yeah, and if you, if you can see on the stream... Every table was on a round table, which was super nice because that meant mm -hmm. there was space for each player on to all spread sides. out. And uh, little things like that are and always appreciated. they fed us pizza, too. They did. They, they did. did. I think it, it was from the joint across the street. So it, was, uh -huh. it was pretty good. It's a local place. So, yeah, Cheyenne's yeah. nice. Cheyenne is nice. People kind of kind of overlook it. And it was fitting. Last night we were driving up, or uh, two nights ago, we were driving up on Friday night in a snowstorm. We were in a hyperspace trial to get up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, it's, you always pretend you're like going through light speed exactly. at night with the snowstorms. <laughs> um, yeah, we, yeah, we came up earlier, so we missed the, the snowstorm. But, yeah, it was nice to see in downtown Cheyenne. So. Exactly. So uh, looking, at some of the, looking at some of the other lists in the top eight right now, um, we have a tie swarm. We have Danger Zone, the Mile High staple. That's right. Carson Ray. We've got some more Rebel Beef on uh, the side of Kieran Simsky. He's flying a pretty bog standard style Rebel Beef swarm. Right, and I think Mike is as well, kind of a beefy three ace mm -hmm. Rebel list. Um, we got a couple First Order. Uh, Sean's right here, and then Brack Lee's. Brack Lee, yep. And I think, that's, I think that's the field. That's the field, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So uh, Rebels, uh, any Empire in there? Um, you have. D, that's it with that's the tie right. swarm. That's the only one. So uh, all all factions except for scum and then the two new ones represented. Right. I know the the ninth guy, Tom Arnold. He just barely missed the cut by and four he, MOV. Yeah, four MOV. He he had an imperial list as well. Mm -hmm. So um, the top sixteen it probably looks a little bit more even, but yeah, there's. Um, it's a lot of the, I don't want to call them original, but the first five factions. There were certainly a lot of players with the two new factions, but mm -hmm. I don't think many of them cracked into the top 16. Yeah, we did have, I think, the, the best performing new faction was that double uh, Sith Infiltrator list. Yeah, uh, I faced it. Let me tell you, that's a super <laughs> tough puzzle to try and yeah. uh, take apart. Um, so but, we had some uh, we had some some talk in chat yesterday because we were pretty gobsmacked as well. Okay, uh, that, that that seemed to do extraordinarily well against Kieran's list while it was on target. Right. Uh, when it stopped getting on target, when his arcs were off, yep. then it melted pretty quickly. Yeah. So I faced it and um, I basically denied him shots for the first forty five minutes, just using mm -hmm. da danger zone to avoid all arcs. Uh, he deployed his probe droids pretty early, but didn't really take advantage of them. Like he should have been jamming a lot to strip me of double mods for, right. for HLC, things like that. And then, yeah, he kind of made the mistake of flying Dooku into the corner, um, which meant his arc is facing away. Yeah, that's kind of what happened in the, in the stream yeah. game as well. Uh, somebody commented that the that is ideal matchup is something beefy, something a little bit swarmy. Right. Where it can where it can really take full advantage of all those force triggers constantly, 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 right. and also be firing at higher initiative than them, so he Duke can recloak. That's right. That I, I, I think device. that lineup could go head to head with five Yons and take it out. I like, think so in, too. In two passes. I so. think so. I think so too. That that's a really really solid list. Yeah. But I do think it's got counters. Those higher initiative ships. Yep. 
I think being able to deny shots are a really big problem for yep. that list, you know. I mean, it's it's two days old, and yeah. he played it very well, and I really feel like if he took advantage of the probe droids a little bit more, like, mm-hmm. that thing would be super lethal. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, the other, I mean, the other sort of interesting thing that we see, there's a lot of Upsilons in First Order. Yep. A lot of just just absolute beef. Yep. Right? That's the First Order beef <laughs> yeah. side yeah. of things. I mean, since the points adjustment, basically beef is the order. It's yep. like you load Absolutely. up on the hull and shields as much as possible. Who cares if they're generics or what have you? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right, so time begins right now. Uh, we're going to see Liam moving uh, Luke Skywalker in very aggressively there with a four straight. Do we know who has player one at this point? I believe it is Liam. I, I okay. thought I saw Han go down first there. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but we will we will see. Exactly yeah, once when. we get to the mm-hmm. I-6. Well, we've got, I guess we've got I-5 oh, there. Oh, yeah, so uh, yeah, Luke yeah is Liam's definitely. First, yeah. And Liam doesn't mind that, actually. So right. I think he spent a lot of the day as player one and knows how to play accordingly. I mean, that's that's how you know it's a mark of a good player, right, is when they're comfortable playing their ships, their aces especially, right. both when they have second player advantage, that movement advantage, and when they lose it. Yeah, and I think the amazing thing is most people probably outside the Colorado area don't know that Liam is only 15 years old, oh, yeah. and this guy <laughs> kills it. He really, really does. Uh, he's our very own Mountain Nathan ID. Yeah, right and over here. Um, I do believe this next month at Star Wars Celebration, he turns Sweet 16. Yep. So, and he'll be at <laughs> just, Celebration. So. Just getting in his pr- into his prime, and uh, his father, actually, Brock Lee, is another First Order list yep. in the top eight as well. Yep. Sorry. A powerful, a powerful family. Yeah, uh, from what I understand, that match wasn't the most popular on stream due to the str- strategy of it. But you know, he's in the top eight. <laughs> he's, he's in the top eight, so something is working, right? right. Can't fault that. Uh, all, all right, right. So, so what do you what are you seeing about Sean's approach here? Uh, with Kylo, I think you have to be aggressive. You mm-hmm. have to um, put the other guy on his heel somewhat. This might not be the best list to do it against, but. Um, you know, that's where Kylo shines is when he's moving really fast mm-hmm. and gets into spaces that uh, the other guy's not comfortable with. Which of those Rebels do you think is his first target? Um, I think he's going to go for Nora. For I Nora? I think that's what everyone else generally t- tries to target. It's is, that, is, that the, is that the right call? Nora doesn't do the most damage out of those ships. Right. But it is, you know, it's better to deal with two rather than three. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, it seems like low-hanging fruit, but... Um, the other two can pounce on whatever, and Nora can take the hits. Especially if you get a range one, she gets that auto evade every sure. time. Sure. I mean, I, I might, I might think that if you're if you're playing against this, I might suggest going after. I mean, either Han or Luke, because they're easier to kill when you have multiple guns on target. It is. And then so, Nora, like Nora, gets her ability off less in the end right. game when there are fewer ships right. on the board. You know, if you stay in the, in outside the, on the side arcs at range three, you're fine. Um, she's not going to be able to engage you. Um, it's just, you know, Han, that's a lot of beef to get through. And then Luke could be very cagey, even without, you yep. know, something like supernatural reflexes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it looks like Sean is moving up towards the top of that board. I mean, only Ky- Kylo's the only one who has made a very committal maneuver down towards the center, but he still could turn back out. Yeah. Right. To go across yep. that top Any corner. Any three of Han. those have the ability to switch up real quickly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I believe that's quick draw on the interior of the lineup and null probably on the outside there. Well, I want to take range three pot shots. Yep. And preserve. Uh, preserve that initiative. Yeah, seven. exactly. I, I, I think I think so. I think I see that mobile arc. Yep. That uh, mobile arc yep. on quick draw there down in the center. Uh, good morning, Bruno. Thank you for joining us today. I thank you, everybody who tuned back in this morning, right back up to around the 60 viewer mark immediately that's just fantastic um really excited to have everybody with us today um love watching there was some really good clean x-wing yesterday and i'm looking forward to having that continue yeah and you know i'm not surprised there are a lot of guys tuning in because this is one of the f- first few big events post new right new, you know new <laughs> factions release everyone wants to see what's happening and then mm-hmm. I, yeah, like like we said there's not one in the top eight i know uh, it's unfortunate but it certainly made for some very interesting games. Absolutely. Um, you know, Republic you... with all the Jedi guys, that's that's tough. Um, and we already talked about, like, the Sith Infiltrator and a lot of the droids. So it's it was interesting. I'm sure it was fun for those that flew it. Oh, yeah. I just picked up a, a whole bunch of droids last night. Uh, <laughs> Looking forward to get back to Colorado playing those uh, 
eight ship swarms with a, a <laughs> load of vulture droids. Uh, Luke Skywalker opening his S foils there and doing a three bank in to the right. Or, sorry, excuse me, two turn. Looks like we're going to clip that gas cloud, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, it just loses the action. There's no other detrimental effects. Mm -hmm. um, the interesting thing with Liam is he is one of the few players I've met that do not like to use tokens for his S foils. So. Mm -hmm. He prefers to stick with cards, which is probably a good habit because, you know, push comes to shove, the card overrides correct, unofficial correct. tokens. It's always it's always a good habit to get into. Uh, we do see that he has that nice uh, translucent Nora Wexley uh, Y-Wing down there in the bottom right. Yep. That's an absolutely beautiful card. Yep. And he's earned it. For being in the uh, for being in the top eight right here, uh, Bruno says hashtag no consequences on that uh, <laughs> as, on that uh, gas cloud right there. Is, are the gas clouds a noob obstacle? I mean, you know, I think a lot of people like the um, benefits of it and the facts that there's almost no downside aside from losing uh, your action. But like I said, I didn't see it fielded too many times, so mm -hmm. I think it was more of. Either people were thinking other people were going to bring it and wanted to have something in there that forces both players to fly uh, well, or, yeah, people just don't want to give that auto evade. Um, sure. Give it away. I think there's definitely something. But I mean, there's a difference, I think, between it being a noob obstacle and a new player friendly right. yep. obstacle, right? Is it, it's, is it easy mode? Are the gas clouds easy mode for flying? or? Do they, I mean, I. Or are they just a friendlier. I would thing. say it's kind of easy mode. That's kind of the old school X-Wing miniatures board game <laughs> guy in me. Um, you know, but uh, we'll see. Like I said, it's all two days old. It's all still needs to be shaken out. The The community and the meta will always surprise you. Right. Um, you know, when Ty SS first came out, people thought they were trash. Just like yeah. I'm not flying this. And now Quick Draw is like, you know, Top auto dog. include. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it took a little while for her to gain traction back in uh, first edition as well. Yep, yep. Um, now, granted, lightweight frame had a lot to do with that right. 1.0. But, you know, well, this is interesting that Sean is just basically squaring up. Um, mm -hmm. But they played each other. So maybe he tried playing KG before and was like, that didn't work out so well. All right, so it looks like we've got Han into quick draw range three there. We've got a reroll from the gas cloud at range one. Looks like we rerolled back into one hit. Spend the focus or two. Quick draw will take two shields. Ouch. Quick draw yeah. will fire again, and indeed he'll be firing at Nora. Just, uh, Out of range three. Fire control system looks like two hits. There we go. Big opening shot. Nora takes all those. Crit round one into the hall, and it's a direct hit right away. Sean's opponent immediately with the first salvo picking up 23 points there. Yep. Yep, so they're all keying in on Nora. Mm -hmm. I think this is the second quick draw shot. Three Ouch, crits. three crits. Ouch. <laughs> Sean saying he's uh, out for revenge from yesterday. Oh. Ooh. Let's, Nora let's see. takes all three. There's a fuel leak. Here we the go. second crit will go. The fuel leak will go off, and there is... Uh, I think that's the end of Nora. Yeah, wow. Wow. Wow, two shots from Quick Draw. Nora <laughs> Wexley goes down immediately. <laughs> that's incredible. That's, that's absolutely That's a huge incredible. early game swing um, right there. Yeah, I mean, he denied him the range one auto evade. Yep. And, yeah, to get four crits on whatever it was, seven – Hits. Yep. that's that is incredible i'm kind of speechless yeah <laughs> uh we have now a a long range call from mud uh, quick draw to luke or excuse me luke to quick draw called as out by the players at the table um well that would have been interesting because that should that would have been obstructed that would have been through the gas clouds yeah they got the auto evade 
but at this point, yeah, Liam needs to start putting. He's got to like he's got to strip target. that shield off a of quick draw, right? Now quick yeah. draw's got one more. Right, and then fanatical kicks in, which yep. you know that's that's the double bladed, uh, double edge, whatever. Sorry, I'm still tired from. Last oh, that's night. all right. <laughs> uh, we've got a shot from Kylo coming in on Han through the gas clouds of range three obstructed. Sean's dice still pretty hot right there. Yeah, Sean's doing the He's math and what's coming one back. spend one of those force for two hits. He's going to use Hans' re-roll from the gas cloud right there. Oof. Oh, Liam's green's just uh, tossing him. He, he I, I would get to convert one. He does. Which it looks like he missed um, there. I would say Liam needs to put away the regional dice and go back to what he had <laughs> yesterday. That's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. That, yeah. Now, I mean, it's it. In that case, that is only two shields. Han still has a long way to go here. He has a long way to go, but mm -hmm. Luke now needs to pick up all that slack. Yep. Um, Luke needs to be the super tank and spend all his forces just trying to basically um, force the other first order guys force. to disengage. The What's that? Force them. Uh, to yeah, there yeah. you go. There we go. My dad there we jokes go. are on point. So. <laughs> uh, it was. It was. I, I think a, a, a really. A really huge blow to Liam to not strip quick draw shields in that same round in right. return. If he had gotten that, I, I think there's a lot better chance. Yeah. Right? He had a good opening shot, and then quick draw just returned fire something fierce. Yep. Right um, there. You know, I could see uh, Kylo going in to block Han, not allow him any action, because that target lock is on Kylo, I think. The target lock is actually on the gas oh, on cloud. The gas cloud. Yeah, okay. On the gas cloud. He was he was out of range. Gotcha. At the so time. okay. So yeah, you, even more. I could see Kylo going in to block, force the block uh -huh. uh, with uh, Han, and then Null just comes in, and Null is actually at a good point to kind of force. Uh, ha. <laughs> well, Null doesn't force those, but force Han to, to choose which turret side he's going to come in, and yep. he can actually arc dodge either way. So he'll be right at that point. Sure. Uh, and then be able to blast Han. Um, and then, yeah, Quick Draw's like, go ahead, shoot me. I want to use this Yeah, last I shield. want that last shield yeah. down, please. All right, uh, Luke Skywalker moving too straight, just uh, barely n not hitting that gas cloud and target locking Quick Draw. Yeah. Coming yeah. in for a bloody round. There's a uh, two bank. Slightly aggressive from Kylo. Well, like uh, I, said, I think that's the, the block right yep, there. Yep, that's the left-hand Han block as well as to get something onto Luke. Uh, it's interesting because he is not uh, he's not leaving Quick Draw a lot of room to maneuver right there. No, but um, Quick Draw is probably going to do the one bank here, square up on Luke, and then lose that last shield. And that's what Sean wants. He's not even going to bother with doing back front firing arcs. Sure. He's going to do his pattern analyzers and do the sloop and then you know pick up the target locker focus or what mm -hmm. have you probably the target lock has got fcs um wit and then yeah go to town so it looks it it's looks fanatical. like he's going to square off his his list against luke then right here yep. get rid of that tank well he still has guns to yep. do so yep especially if it looks like um han there's the block attempt is, really right there yep. uh lock auto thrusters to barrel roll um yeah because han's um arc is front back yep so he won't be able to tur turn that means quick draw may be in the clear to only take the one shot um and there's yep, a one bank from bump. han yep that's a bump right there um now he did do the bank so he may get enough of a turn to keep that front arc on quick draw um but null's gonna come in and then take her planks yep um Oh, it oh, looks like mind. they might actually just barely be yeah, clear. So that barrel roll probably was not great. But, frankly, at this point, the judge should be called in to try and... I think so as well. They're calling it clear. Okay. They're calling it clear. Not the worst thing for Sean. No. Um, it's, I mean, if, if, if Quick Draw clears that, now he just... Now, all that means is now he has two rage one right. shots on Han, right? Yeah, and... Um, and could really pile in now with Kylo at range one as well. Yeah, and the question is if uh, Sean gets super aggressive with Null and comes in with like a three three bank to really get in as close to, to make up for the fact she's only rolling mm -hmm. two dice. Uh, oh. oh. 
Was that a five straight attempt there? There it is. Does clear. That's that's actually very good. Yeah. We're going to um, rotate that arc back. Yeah, He's not going to take any shots this round. Kyle's going to need all the force points, which I think Sean <laughs> kept uh, at least two. He only spent one last yep. round and got a recharge back. So. Yep. Luke's lock is on quick draw as well, so we only have a single modded shot That's against right. Kylo. Looks like we're taking a barrel roll there so uh, it looks like to he's get trying, arc on yeah. Luke because we can link that back to a rotate. Yep, and that's a white rotate, mm -hmm. which is kind of infuriating. <laughs> if you're flying against it. <laughs> if you're flying against it. That's true. That's true. All right, there's that barrel roll, white rotate rear, then null. I want to say it looks close, but Sean doesn't look like it thinks it's out. It it looks pretty solid to me. I mean, Thrawn's kind of blocking that side yep, of the there's base. There's the null. Just coming in pretty cruel and aggressive from that right flank there. Yep. No, we'll take a focus there. Not going to use hyper perception from Kylo right there. Uh, that would actually have been kind of a nice torpedo shot, though. It would have. Deplete Luke's force before he can get the uh, before he can get the aggressive shot off. Uh, no damage from Null's shot there. Han firing Kylo, although I think he wants to preserve the force. He does. Yeah, that's why he shot. Because yep. we're going to have this. Okay. Spend the target lock. Uh, good news for Kylo so far. Yep, three, three regular hits, so Not bad. that's fine. He will spend one force and take both of those shields, though. Uh, he will be able to sign. I'll show you the dark side. Yep, and that's not a bad exchange for Kylo. No. Because Kylo, at this point, can run. Um, Han is kind Han of in Han a bad... panic pilot, maybe. Yeah. I mean, generally, it's always going to be a panic pilot. Yeah. <laughs> he is uh, spending... Oh, uh, yeah, because he only spent that one force, so he'll spend the second one to dark side. It is a trade-off, because now he's defenseless for Luke's shot. Yeah, but I think he's okay with that because they're going to be straight up with uh, – Luke is probably – yeah, he's got two force. Um, and I can't remember – F-foils have to be open. Yep. The S-foils are open. It's a, it's an aggressive move. Uh, but Sean has a little bit of leeway right here to be yeah. more aggressive. Yeah. He's got some – he's got some time, right? He's got a little bit of – He can't get blanks, so that's the, that's the good news for, right. for Kylo. Right. They'll take the range one out the rear from quick drawing to Luke. I have been uh, changing Luke's shields and force there. My apologies. There All right, there we go. So, yeah, he's trying to take that shot on Kylo, which was is that, the only uh, shot he has. Was that no damage into Luke there? Yeah, so, yeah, yep. he rolled the evade, got out Perfect. of it. Perfect. All right, range into Kylo. Spend yep. both force. Taking two hits on Kylo. So yeah, Back down point, to two hull. At this point, Kylo did his job. He's going to yep. run. Yep. However, I think, yeah, Kylo gets. Now uh, Kylo will be firing his torpedo at Luke. That's a lot of paint. That looks like a... Uh, yes, but he doesn't have any focuses left or any force left to change those. Just two crits. Uh, however, Liam doesn't have any... F Whoa. <laughs> two shields. Yeah, Liam needs to chuck those dice in the garbage right there. Yeah. <laughs> when it counts, he's uh, rolling entirely blank. Yeah. Kylo going down to two hull is not the best for Sean, but he is super happy with that exchange. Yep. Dropping the shields off, he still has that. Uh, he still has that torpedo. Yep. Um, he could it, with with uh, second player advantage on Luke right there. He could conceivably go for another torpedo That's shot right. if he'd like. That's right. Um, just depending on sort of where where Han is going. Yeah, you know, and Luke now kind of has to run as well. Now that he's got mm -hmm. no shields, and those shields are not coming back. Yep. Quick try. I assume you think taking a, a sloop pattern analyzer to focus that back forward. Absolutely. Um. Yeah, and even even if Luke leaves that. 
quick draw can't get shot he's going to keep that target lock in his pocket oh yeah uh for down the road um Mm -hmm. now i can see um sean trying to trade null for um han shield uh so if both of them are shieldless at, at that point he may save that proton torpedo for han um and just try and get those crits in there Sure. Uh, because quick draw can pretty much go toe to toe with Luke. It's it's Han that's the mm-hmm. kind of the equalizer here. Now, do you think here that this this might be a, a Leia trigger for Luke? Give him, um, give him a K turn. Yeah, right up there. I mean, get, absolutely. Get back arc but, on Kylo. Um, there it is. Actually, there we go. There We've is, got yep. a Leia going off, and the 4K from Luke. Yep. Triton 73705 just joined. How did Nora die? Response is explosion. And that's basically yeah, what happened. All the crits. Giant explosion. All the crits and all the blank green dice. Yep. Um, yeah, but you're going to see uh, Kylo break off. Um, Luke is going to barrel roll left after that 4K. Uh, no other actions there. I think just trying to... Block Null, maybe, yep. and ensure that Kylo remains in arc. That's right. Make it a little bit harder to uh, for that silencer to get out. Um, yeah, I think you will see um, Kylo break hard left. That's uh, oh, or hard out, five straight. There he goes. It might it might be tough if Han decides to chase. Well, if turns Han, left. yeah, if he turns left, but then he's got um, Quick Draw right there as well, which Quick Draw doesn't mind. For sure. Um, In a big ball of fire, yes, that is how Nora died. Uh, <laughs> we're going to see probably an autofaster focus boost. Yep. Yep. Just um, get out. Yeah, I think he's going to boost left, which unfortunately will start to corner him just a bit. Um, but you can't, I mean, you can't boost right because then you're right in front of Han, right? You got to make right. Han turn. And so that, uh, you know, Null actually probably wouldn't mind the bump here because stay behind Luke. Right. And um, that forces Luke to keep that in mind when he tries to chase down uh, mm-hmm. Kylo. There indeed the focus boost pilot left, just as predicted. So that should be out of range for Luke, but then it's, yeah, Han that he has to worry about. Han is actually three slooping, so not quite as aggressive as we thought. Um, Neatly slotting in beside that debris cloud, though. Yeah, we now just if he expects see. a block on null, does he have arc there, or should he uh, rotate that? To get... He's. I don't think he's going to have arc. It, so if he he's, but... if he wants arc on null, he's going to have to rotate that. Yeah, and Liam is a player who likes uh, likes to keep that um, arc mm-hmm. front back. He's not much of a side side arc guy. Right. So um, there's a, just a lock on quick draw. Looks right. like. Plus, he's smart enough to know that null is only worth the 31 points. Yep. Only throwing two dice, really. So. Um, he's keeping his eye on the prize, really. And there's the three sloop yep. from Quick Draw. Um, I can't see if he pattern analyzed an action there. It does not uh, appear that he did. Well, he there we go. Okay, he's yep. pattern analyzed that. Yep. To, uh, to switch that back up. Uh, Bruno asked, did D make it into this game? He said he's got a bad flu. He is playing. I, I, yeah, all top eight players checked mm-hmm. in, so everyone's playing. He is playing. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't look too happy. Yeah, um, he looked a little tired last night, um, and those things can set in pretty quickly. So hopefully he's got as much mm-hmm. fluids as he can handle and uh, keeps trucking on. But, Indeed. Um, let's see here. So there's the uh, pattern analyzer barrel roll link to white rotate. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure that's maybe the best because I think Luke is going to be out of arc even if he's all the way back. Yeah, so he's saying that he's committed. Yep. Um, It'll be close there. Yeah. It'll be close there, but I, th- I think you're right. I think where he was was pretty solid. 
But he the only way that he can rotate is by linking it. Yeah, I would have focus true. linked, but uh Yep. Yep, and there's the bump, which he's okay with because he should be out of arc. Yep. All right. Null of course has no arc, so we're checking uh checking range for Han there. No shot from Han. Checking quick draw. Yeah, that, that's definitely got to be an arc. Yeah, there's, that's not even a question. Yep, checking with the range ruler just to double check. It is uh, definitely always a good idea to do so. Sometimes those laser lines can be curved, yep. especially the cheap ones. Yep. In arc, range okay. three. Nothing. Nothing. Electing not to uh, FCS or spend that lock right there. I don't think he has a lock. I thought his on, lock was yeah, on so the, Luke. No, so the the other two rebel guys have him mm. locked up. Uh, gotcha. It's a big hit from Luke spending two force there. Dodged one. Shield in the hall into quick draw. Oop, that's a null. Shield in the hall into quick draw. And quick draw will trigger his last shield to fire three dice back. Just one. And with fanatical, actually, that's a good point. Yep, so uh, with three three greens, one evade, Luke takes a hull. So not a not a great final retaliatory shot. Um, I would have think, thought that Sean wants to be in a little bit better position yeah. there. I, I, I I agree with you. I think the barrel roll was suboptimal. Yeah, if anything, I would have. I, I know he Just probably didn't back, want to. Just come back, grab your target lock, and take the joust. Yeah, he probably didn't want to block uh, Kylo, which might be why he also barrel rolled out. But I actually probably would have barrel rolled out even further. So, yeah, right. that gives you that breathing room. Because um, Kylo is going to do uh, that too hard. Yep. Uh, I actually think he'll break right. Just Pilot to, right to here. Maintain instead of breaking left. I, I think I think so too. That puts him right in front of Han. Make, forces Han again right. to turn. Right. To come for the chase. Luke there is is fairly hurt. Um, Sean was able to pick up seventy another seventy six point or another few points to get half on on uh, yep. on Luke there. Yeah, but um, he's got to worry about Null on his backside this entire time now. Yep. Um, you know. Luke has to move forward to try and get kills. Um, he can't just one forward to victory because, <laughs> you know, while that will block Null, that lets uh, the other two guys kind of escape the, the net. Right. So this is, this absolutely is an interesting game. Um, yeah, and it's still, it's, it's still very super even. Um, you know, Kylo or Quick Draw can drop at this point pretty easily. Then again, so can Luke. Um, and then Han, you know, he's full up. I don't think he's lost anything. Yeah. Uh, Han's lost a couple shields. A couple shields, yeah. Yep, a couple but shields that's off. still a lot mm -hmm. uh, to deal with. Absolutely. Uh, especially with all his rerolls and what have you. Mm -hmm. Leia's start recharged one, uh, one, uh, one charge right there. Both those uh, first with uh, Luke and Kylo will recharge one force as well. As we come back in the round, 47 minutes left. Uh, is this the... Do either of these players really have to start thinking about time at this point? Uh, I really think like it's not till thirty minute, the thirty minute mark. You really need to start pressing on things. Uh, that that fifteen minutes is a lot. Um, the onus really is more on Liam to try and close out one of these two aces, whereas uh, Sean is really trying to just get them out from that corner. Yep. Um, he wants to preserve Kylo so he can get off that second proton torpedo, quick draw. You know, um, no shields left, but still has fanatical. So if he can get them in range one, die in, you know, blazing glory and get yep. a four. I hit. think I think that's what Quick Draw is, is trying to do this yeah. turn. I feel like we'll see an aggressive maneuver there because uh, it's definitely there's definitely the case where Sean's pulled out an early lead, but now with both those aces in striking distance, he's actually going to be fairly hard pressed. Yep. To uh, to maintain Luke, that, especially uh, if one goes down. Yep. A very aggressive maneuver from Luke. Uh, but I actually think you'll probably see a three bank from. Uh, quick draw, uh, which will clear Luke. Yep. Um, yeah, this is not a time that Sean really wants to be doing one banks. Uh, two Ooh, bank from left. Kylo, actually, to the left.
not what I would have done there. As as you said, very uh, yeah, very corner there. Although with a lock and a, if he can clear a barrel roll the other way, um, he's yeah. just gonna he's just I, gonna barrel roll. I guess um, I can't remember if the two hard on the silencer is blue or not. Yes, so it, it is. is. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean I I like to play KG. I know the 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 conventional thinking would have been to go left, but mm-hmm. I would have gone right get that bit of separation yeah absolutely um i would have liked to see a lock on there too to prepare for a torpedo next round uh bruno luke took a shot and then regen one from the round he should have two force you are correct thank you very much thank you very much han also moving pretty aggressively with a focus, three straight focus. Null likely just a two straight, something like that. There is a... Uh, he did do the one forward. He did do the one forward. That's not bad. He can so take a question. nice range one shot. He might be able to PS kill Luke. Yep. Can he uh, Can he dodge? Can he arc dodge Luke with a focus or with a, with a barrel roll there? Um, Should he arc dodge Luke? No, I don't think... Uh, he, I think he's going to straight up try and PS kill him. That's, yep, there's that's, the target lock. And then there's Null coming in for his range one. And he fits. Like will bump. Oh, it does bump. Okay. Still rolling three. Mm-hmm. Three unmodified, but three up. is yeah, three. Is three. set up. Uh, however, Quick Draw is probably going to die here So yep. from Han. So he does need to make sure he ices Luke. Liam's testing his greens. <laughs> uh, range one from Null into Luke. Just one. And there's a paint there, so we'll spend a force. Han will be firing range one into quick draw. Yeah, but quick draw will still get the return shot. Absolutely. He's going to reroll. He's got a lock there. Take that, spend the focus. Quick draw is yep. down. There's a... Let's kill. He he did real well to evades, but uh, that will kill him. Simultaneous fire allows him to, uh, to fire back. Let's hope he makes this shot count. And there's quick draw range one into Luke. Spending the target lock. Fanatical so, for three hits. That's Ta- Luke takes so two. He lives, but he's down to one. And quick draw is out of there. All right. So, so let's see if he has uh, if Luke has range out there to Kylo. But I believe it's just barely out. No, he's out. Yep. Out of range. All right. So Kylo and Null versus Luke and Han. This is a much different game. It is. Now, with um, Luke only one hull, but Kylo's only at two, both of those are very much within striking distance for the other. Yeah, so it's almost like Null has to clean up Luke um, right. or else. I mean, pretty much Kylo's going off the the board. and so Which means that Null is going to have to then clean up Han. Right, and that's a tall <laughs> order. Um, yeah, because once he goes down to PS0, you uh, you might as well concede the game at that point. Right. Right. So, th- I mean, things are looking pretty good for Liam. I think uh, Sean was not able yep. really to capitalize on that extra shield that Quick Draw was holding on to. Yep. Um, and that's now costing him. There goes Luke, hard three. Um, he's turning out to run. Yep. And he's going to leave uh, Kylo for um, for Han. Exactly. Exactly. No closed S foils, though. Um, so, he will just kind of be sitting right there. No boost. Um, what would be the clever play is now actually. Uh, looks like he did flip the S foils. We just missed that. <laughs> Focus link to a boost. Just getting a little bit more distance there. Talon roll from Kylo. Uh, that's and it also has maneuver. well has pattern analyzer as well. Mm-hmm. So. That's true. So he can pick up that target lock. And so the question is here, does he just try and get the points and ice Luke with the proton torpedo, or does he try and save that 
for Han, which I, mean, I, I think you have to go for the points and take Luke out. I think so too. And then try to, you know, try to fly a little bit cagey and peck Han down a little bit. Right. Make him chase Kylo while no puts real I like the actual damage yep. in. Uh, and that's the thing is if uh, Liam, Liam brings in the Falcon super hard, uh, it's going to be... It's very unlikely. Right? It's unlikely, yeah. Well, no, it'll be unlikely that, that Kylo will be able to pull it out. Right. So, But what I'm saying is that um, Liam is in a little bit of danger of cornering Right. The, uh, here comes a four straight yeah, from Hani. So he came in. Really going for that kill. Taking the target lock onto Kylo. No, the two bank right there. In chase. Locking on as well. Uh, here is a, 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 a good uh, perception. This is a, uh, a good time for heightened perception. Absolutely. Kylo. Yep. Yep. All right, so does not look like we're going to, though. Three dice from null, range one, spin the lock for a hit crit. Shield, and then the panicked pilot goes on. From uh, from the, I'll show you the dark side that yep. went in there a while um, ago. I think Leah's recharged at this point as well. She's yeah. got one charge left. Range two into Kylo from Han. This would have been a great time for that uh, heightened perception. Absolutely. One crit spending the target lock. Hit crit. Kylo can come out of this. He's two of got eight. it. Indeed he did. There we go. Got him, boys. Uh, so, yeah, now you're going to see. Kylo range three. Is he going to take that torpedo? It doesn't look like it. So he's just taking the range three shot. Target lock. Two and a crit for Deluke. Ooh. And there's all paint. Natty's Luke is alive. Okay. Uh, all right. This is this is it got a little bit more interesting it once did. again. So um, neither Luke or Han are in a great position to capitalize and, and put no, kill that, the Kylo that right panicked now. Panicked pilot is pretty clutch. So right. even if um, he does a sloop. His uh, his arc is locked, so there's only one way he can sloop, and that would put the arcs in the wrong direction. Right. I mean, you are almost certainly going to see that five straight from Kylo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you might maybe a, maybe a, maybe a four straight. Uh, I could I could see Luke trying to be a little bit cheeky, maybe just uh, you know two turning in, anticipating right. a five straight and trying to get under it. Right. But um, you still have null. In, that's true. In the back. That's true. I think Null's pretty comfortable behind Han at this right. point, just plinking away. Yeah, it certainly is kind of a key decision round here. Yep. Um, you know, the turn will the turn for the for Han will get him out of the corner, but then again, those those arcs are locked. Um front back. Right. Two and banks Kylo for Luke. and Null can certainly arc dodge out of that. So, can't kind of can't go straight because um, then again you're going right in that corner, and the <laughs> last thing you want to do is fly Han off the board. Right, and he doesn't have those one hard turns anymore, so right. he has to turn around a little bit wide. Uh, Luke just trying to get away there. Two bank straight boost with closed S foils. Yep, and there's exactly the as you were thinking. There's the five straight. Chat's thinking a 3K from Han might fit. Uh, that would he be nice, uh, but he but didn't pop Leia. He didn't pop Leia, so he yep. can't pull it. Uh, and if he dialed it in, that's a two straight, and he's going off the board one way or another the next turn. Kylo's going to lock Luke, auto thruster boost. Just a straight boost. Let's see what Han did. Yep. Hard yep. to retaining that stress. He's still not going to have a shot, right. though. Liam commenting, he wished that Leia simply reduced the difficulty of maneuvers. Yep. 
and mm-hmm. Kylo's still just out of range, which is nice. Mm-hmm. So, and a two bank from null, or it looks like a two straight from null. Yeah, still, I believe, slightly in. out of arc there. Maybe he's coming over to Sean's coming over to check. Yep. So it gets close. Liam testing his dice again. Uh, he's going to take the uh, the safety barrel roll yeah. there. Great setup for a one hard next turn, though. And yep. with where we know Han's going to be, that will be out of arc again. Yep. Null into, into uh, Han range one. A oh. very nice shot. Three hits. Taking Kylo all three. taking all of those. Not Kylo, two. Han. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, two and one more damage. Two shields down, one more damage card onto Han. Uh, Sean picks up half points on Han, now just slightly in the lead. Yep. Kylo range two with a Luke. Gets to use all the force, so he needs all paint. Spending that target lock, one hit, two blanks. He's got that force. There we go. There's Luke down. Spending both the force to try it. Uh, one hit. Luke <laughs> For pride. goes down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kylo's still within striking distance for Han. But yep. with Null pretty solidly behind and Han unable to. Uh, you'll to, see. Uh, yeah, you'll that probably arc. see we'll that see five, five straight. Five straight. Um, one and hard then, for Null. And... Yep. And then what, what he's trying to do now, which was super smart, but we questioned it, is he saved that Proton Torp for yep. Han, and that's going to be a bad day. Yep, absolutely. If he, I mean, again, the safe maneuver, or the safe choice would have been to pop that Initiative 7 Heightened Perception yep. Proton Torpedo, kill Luke outright, but he made a gamble not um, doing that, and it's, play, it's paid off. Yeah. It's paid so off. Not, he's got a kill shot. Not right, this turn, right but there. the next turn, yep. as long as Null stays out of Han's arc, uh, you may see uh, Han get PS killed. You never thought you'd right. really see that. But <laughs> uh, we did just see R2-D2 go off. He is yep. shieldless, uh, so, so Han will got regain one, one yep. shield. Oh, no. Kylo uh, went a little bit too slow there. Picked up that uh, that cloud. Did. did not That's the five not great because saw. you you'll see that. There's yeah. a two-turn. Two-turn. Well, it's a two-bank. Is Han off the He's board? off. Oh, no. Han and Solo is wow. off the board, boys. Wow. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game. He was going. He was trying to get a little bit more distance, I think, for that. Uh... Yeah, and I think Sean just let out the hugest sigh of relief. I because know. Because it's still. Wow. That g- <laughs> wow. Right Stunning. off the board. 32 <laughs> minutes left. In this round, Han Solo uh, giving the game to Sean, flying right off the board there. Yep. So um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, mark Han out. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Liam was uh, betting on that five straight. So right. he's going to try and keep him in arc. But those big bases, they're not medium bases. Nope. And, um, I think the two turn, I mean, two turn would have gotten sort of in under Kylo uh, the, as well, and inside his turn radius as he turned out. Yeah. So that was a better maneuver um, anyway. Yeah, the, I mean, the two hard was a safe bet. Mm-hmm. As you're going to lose the shields, and you're going to have the R2 uh, opportunity each time, I think. Sure. Um, it also, also with facing your arc, maybe he was trying to just face his arc backwards to force Null to barrel roll at the very least. And There's that too as well, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so Null absolutely was worth the 31 points. Um, uh-huh. Liam totally ignored him, as most people tend to do, because it's only generally two dice. But yeah, look at that panic pilot. Null, he just popped yeah. right in, right? Uh, the panic pilot and Null were the MVP of this game. Absolutely. That was, that was pretty. Yep, showing the power of actually, you know, the power of the dark side. I'm still stunned because Liam is the most next to Jim Frank in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Liam is the most methodical logical player that i know yeah i so would not to have see expected. him yeah to see him take that chance and not the easy out is to me like like i said stunning sure i mean in in, in some cases he's got to take some risks to come back you do so yeah when uh, when you're down you've got to take risks you've got to try and hit for the home run mm-hmm. um 
that was just a little too close. Um, I, I, in my mind, I had not even thought he would try the two right. bank. I thought that too hard was coming in, which is why. Me too. Yeah, which is Kylo why. Kylo clipping I thought, that gas <laughs> as, as Bruno Pugliese in the chat pointed out, ironically, the noob obstacle could have killed Kylo right, right there. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that is stunning because again, Liam knows this list. It's an yep. unassuming list. He plays it very well. Um, As we saw, too, uh, he played it very well, and it came back from right. a really terrible opening engagement. Yep. Uh, it came back from that, almost pulled it out. Yeah. Almost um, came back. You know, he had a lot of unfortunate dice. I don't want to say he got diced, but, mm -hmm. you know, you roll that many blanks and that many crits coming in. That, that's never fun. Nope. Um, but he, he was very admirable. He pulled yeah. it back from that brink right there. Yeah. Uh, then Han. <laughs> Yeah, I think Han coming in a little aggressive to try and finish off Kylo was a mistake mm -hmm. because, again, yeah, it's like now your choices are limited because you are in the corner. Yep. Um, and that's even without getting the panic pilot. Right. You know? So uh, his options were super limited. Um, yeah, that two banks still to me is kind of baffling a little bit. But for sure. You know, Sean Sapone, then the victor of this game, moving on to the top four. Congratulations to Sean. Congrats to uh, Sean. We've got half an hour left in this match, and then probably a, a five, ten minute reset. So we'll be back around 45 minutes. That's uh, what, around just around 10 o'clock? Yep. Just a little bit past 10 Mountain Standard Time. Stay tuned here. Uh, we will be back for the Back to the House podcast. I am Asa Graff, a guest commentator. Ken Cho. Thank you very much for joining us, Ken. Uh, we will see you in round uh, top four top see you four. in the top four yep